So in this video, I'm going to talk about how to prepare for Amazon's launch in Australia, even though there's a bunch of things that we do and don't know about exactly what Amazon Australia will look like. There are some things that we can look to from their launches in other countries that give us an indication of how to best get ready if you're a brand or a retailer. So one winner of this game in Australia is Australian brands and Australian manufacturers who have their own consumer brand. So these are companies that already sell to brick and mortar retail stores. They may already have their own e-commerce um, store and they're really going to be able to use Amazon as another distribution channel to consumers. So core to Amazon's selling strategy is this concept of selection and they're going to want to have as many brands on their platform to begin with as they can that they know are going to be popular with customers. So if you have an existing brand that has good traction already, um, you can apply for um, an expression of interest with Amazon and I would imagine that they're going to be very interested if you can show them that you already have, um, there's a lot of demand for your products already. Another winner in Australia is going to be distributors who can secure exclusive distribution rights from brands. And these might be brands within Australia or international brands. If you're a distributor and you can get exclusive, an exclusive right to sell that product on Amazon, it's going to give you a huge lead against other potential sellers that might come in and start competing with you on price. Like I mentioned earlier in a previous video, Amazon works on a catalog basis. So there's one product page per SKU and any seller who's selling that SKU is going to be competing with other sellers. So if you're able to get that exclusive distribution, you're not going to be competing with other sellers. You're going to be the, be the one that gets on Amazon and you get to create that product listing page. So there's a huge advantage if you're able to go back to the brands that you represent and negotiate um, one, two, three years of exclusive distribution on Amazon Australia. You might be making their life easier because they don't have to worry about importing products and dealing with all the, all the tax consequences. So definitely try and get in with that exclusivity if you're able to. And finally, companies that are involved in importing and trade are going to really benefit from the brands that are looking to bring their products into Australia and start selling on Amazon. So customs brokers and freight forwarders should see some increased business from Amazon's launch too. If you're a company outside of Australia and you're looking at Australia as a potential way to expand your sales, it's a great opportunity. And here's why. Australians are highly paid. They're very well connected to the internet and they do love to shop online, but it's a very unsaturated market so far in terms of online marketplaces and e-commerce. Australians are really excited about Amazon launching. Over half of them have, ind have indicated that they're going to buy from Amazon when it launches, and it's going to be a great opportunity, even though Australia is quite a small country. Chances are that your brand has already received inquiries from Australians wanting to buy your product and it just costs so much to get products here that using Amazon as a way to fulfill customer orders is going to be very easy because you just ship your products to Amazon's warehouses in Australia and they'll take care of fulfilling each individual customer order as it comes in. So it can be a really easy way to get into a new market without having to establish operations on the ground. Despite what I think is a pretty compelling view that Amazon is going to shake up the retail industry in Australia, a lot of retailers are putting their heads in the sand and saying that they won't succeed or it won't make an impact. And I really disagree with that assumption. Australians really want Amazon to come. They really want the convenience and selection of what's available on Amazon. It's taken 20 years for Amazon to have launched in the US to finally get to Australia and I think that we're overdue for a real shake-up in the industry here. So what can you do now to get ready for Amazon's arrival? One is to calculate and run some models on your unit economics for selling on Amazon. 
In a previous video, I talked about how Amazon charges fees under different selling models that they have available. And we don't know exactly what the cost breakdown is going to be for Amazon in Australia, what their fees are going to be, the fulfillment fees, the variable um, listing fees, things like that. But what is going to be a good practice, at least initially, is to look at your profit margins on products on each product if you were going to be selling it in the US or in another Amazon marketplace like Canada or the UK. And that's going to at least give you an indication of what your profit margins might be on each product. So that when Amazon's um, pricing is actually released, then you're able to update that model and confirm which products are going to be suitable to sell on Amazon from a profit standpoint. If you're not already selling on Amazon's other marketplaces in the US, Canada, UK, EU, you can consider launching there um, at kind of as practice, but just to note that the US compared with Australia is very competitive, saturated, mature market on Amazon with the other marketplaces being more intermediate. So your experience with launching on Amazon in the US might be very different to what ends up happening in Australia where it's very, um, it's going to be a very immature marketplace to begin with. There's going to be less competition. Your mileage is going to vary significantly between those international marketplaces. And finally, in late April 2017, Amazon put up a registration page for brands looking to sell on Amazon Australia. So definitely sign up there and you'll at least get notified about any news related to the launch and hopefully secure an early invite. And you'll probably want to study Amazon as a channel, as a platform a little bit further if it's going to be a big part of your sales and distribution capability. I wrote a book called The Amazon Expansion Plan last year, which is all about how brands can sell on Amazon both in the US and internationally and launch in new, new marketplaces. So I definitely recommend you check that out. It's for sale on Amazon and it's a really great introduction to the platform, how it works, all the concepts that I've talked about, like the buy box, the different ways of selling and how to get more sales once you're on the platform. You can also subscribe to Bobsled Marketing's newsletter and get weekly articles, tips and news for brands selling on Amazon. I'm Kiri Masters, the founder and CEO of Bobsled Marketing, a digital marketing agency that helps brands to grow their sales on Amazon. You can visit us at www.bobsledmarketing.com.